Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Fantasy Football Fallout. This episode is all about defense and special teams. Instead of going game by game, this week we are going position group by position group. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to our channel. Give us comments. Do you like the new format? Do you like the old format? I'll listen and take that into consideration. Uh, so week six, how did the teams perform? And who won the awards for the defense and special teams? Week six, kicked in the nuts award, the dumpster vomit award, and of course, the no soup for you award. Let's get it going. All right, so uh, let me just run off the top 10 performers for defense and special teams. And, you know, this is a, a lot of the times the defense and special teams is based on matchup. Um, and, of course, which defense is not all, only about who can shut out who, but what teams can get to the quarterback, what teams can force turnovers, and so on. So top 10 in order, Denver, Carolina, New England, Pittsburgh, Washington, New Orleans, San Francisco, Minnesota, Jacksonville, and the Giants. And I like to go through and show everybody the top 10 because sometimes some of these teams or some of these players and these things, can be jarring and uh, you know specifically I want to talk a little bit about Denver uh, Denver is a team that is run and coached by Vic Fangio the guy who used to be the uh, the coach of the Chicago the vaunted Chicago Bears defense um, last year first time at a head coaching stint it's taken the Denver Broncos a little bit to uh, coalesce as a defensive unit but the last couple of weeks they've played very very well as a team uh, Carolina not the sexiest defensive unit this year, but they force a lot of turnovers and get to the quarterback. New England, we all know about New England. Pittsburgh, for some reason, they are not owned in very many leagues. They get to the quarterback and they force turnovers. Remember, it's not only about the points. Washington, they're playing Miami, mat matchup, right? New Orleans, everybody knows about them. San Francisco, I think a lot of people are starting to learn about them. Their defensive line is fantastic and they force turnovers. Minnesota, everybody knows. Jacksonville, although I think they're about the 23rd ranked defense in ESPN scoring, they tend to be um, um, used quite a bit or owned in quite a bit of leagues uh, you know, based on their name recognition, and that's cool. Um, they have a matchup against Cincinnati this week, so if you can snap them up, there's probably only about a 35% chance, but if you can snap them up in your league, go ahead and do that. That's a perfect stream play this week. And then you have the Giants who played the Patriots. I am, let me say this, I am shocked the Giants made the top 10 this week against the Patriots offense, but hey, a Thursday night game, anything goes, that's why I generally do not bet Thursday night games. But let me get to, uh, just get to the awards here. The Kicked in the Nuts award for the week goes to the Denver Broncos, and this one is near and dear to my heart because I had the Denver Broncos ranked as, I think, the second best defense coming in because of Fangio coming over from Chicago. I loved uh, that uh, Bradley Chubb and Von Miller were over there. I thought schematically they were going to match up. Then we got some injuries. Of course, Bradley Chubb, I, I think, it, what was it, his knee or his Achilles? He's on the injured reserve. But, um, you know... <sighs> I just, yeah, the defensive line, they had some injuries to start the season. That Oakland game to open up the season was a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, and Oakland came out and just kind of took advantage of them. But, you know, Denver has settled in. The the big uh, oh, crud uh, moment for me was Denver, man, that shutting out the, uh, the Titans. That's something like I would have thought of beforehand. I gave up on them too early in my league. I, I swapped them out for another defense. I could have used those points this week in a loss for me. Oh, well, it happens sometimes. Um, the Dumpster Vomit Award goes to the Atlanta Falcons. They cannot stop anything. It is sad to watch. Uh, Dan Quinn, not so good. Um, I think he's going to lose his job, but so it goes. And the No Soup For You Award goes to the Philadelphia Eagles. As I said in my uh, preview, my game-by-game -game preview last week, I thought this game would come down to Philadelphia's ability to stop Kirk Cousins from hitting Stefan Diggs deep. What happened? Kirk Cousins hit Stefan Diggs deep three times. So, um, you know, Philadelphia, I thought this matchup was, was perfect for them. All they had to do was roll some coverage over to Diggs. Easier said than done. Stephon Diggs is a, is a really good player. Finally, he got himself into the end zone. He's shining. Um, as we kind of predicted, he, we thought that he would be a start, but I did not predict three touchdowns. Um, otherwise, I would have rotated him in uh, some more of my daily fantasy lineups. But anyway, that takes me through. If you're looking forward into next week, don't worry about the Giants. Jacksonville somebody you should pick up. Um, Washington, I don't like the matchup against San Francisco. If you can get your hands on San Francisco against Washington, that's the one to exploit. Carolina and Pittsburgh, they're on a bye week. But if you're looking for a longer-term play, Pittsburgh's a top-10 defense. They get to the quarterback, and they uh, they force turnovers as well. So it's something you need to pay attention to. Uh, but if you could, that takes me through this episode here. Uh, please subscribe, please like, please comment. I'll be interactive and we'll catch you on another episode.